Hello and welcome back to the channel. We've finally finished the nursery and as you can see, looking cracking, especially with the photo wall mural there. But now it's time to get the furniture built and put up. So I thought I wasn't going to film this and then I thought it's probably a good video actually because people like us, we've never had children before and we need to build and I build all this stuff and then I thought I'll take you through what we did, where we got it from and why we did it the way we did it. So that's what we'll do now and then we'll get cracking and start building these furniture up and get this nursery 100% complete and ready for our arrival coming soon. So first of all, originally we were going to have um, the mamas and papas uh, full set that was cot which is there the drawers which i think i can show you there with the changing table and then wardrobes now that was about 700 pound if i remember rightly um, but we had a change of thought process and decided to not do that um now mamas and papas uh, for those of you probably in the north and I don't know if they have them elsewhere around the country, but in Huddersfield, which is not a million miles away from us, uh, we took the trip over there to have a look and they have a factory outlet shop. And we picked up the uh, cot a lot cheaper than the actual set. Um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it, but as you can see there, it doesn't come with a box. We had to take it away there and then, and then all your bits and bobs come in a mamas and papas bag. Now, that was that, and it was going to be cheaper. Now, we had a different approach and decided to put the money that we would spend on a full set towards fitted wardrobes because we thought they'd last us longer than having to sell the wardrobes that come with this set in years to come. So that was that. We then held out for the Mama's Papa's uh, outlet for the drawers, but unfortunately, they never came in stock while we were looking. So we decided to pay the full price, but we actually got them a bit cheaper. Um, and we actually only paid £40 more than what they were in the outlet store. Uh, and we bought them online. I'll pop a link down below of where they're from because uh, I'll have to ask the wife. Um, but I'll pop a link for where we got them from. But they were, I think it was £40 dearer, but £40 cheaper. Uh, than normal price but £40 dearer than the out outlet so that's what we're going to do in this video build them up get the drawers done get the cot done and then we've also got this chair to put up as you can see there now that is a rocking chair I believe and a stool that we bought from Wayfair so we'll see what they're like I'll get them built and um, I'll probably just stick the time lapse on get them built and then we'll have a discuss what I think the quality is like but i must say the mums and pops stuff i'm pretty impressed with um and it looks really classy you know little touches like that so fingers crossed they'll be good and then we'll see what that's like as well as we get to it so let's get cracking get these built and see what they look like First of all, the cot is up and in place. And to be honest, pretty impressed. So very sturdy, very heavy. Um, it's got these protective covers on. Now, I suppose the mamas and poppers, really good quality, really pleased with that. The question would be, should you buy one from the outlet or from a normal store? Now, the two problems I've had just putting this up now and they're not really problems and the saving 
I would say is worth going with the outlet is there's a small mark. I can't even find it now. There. Small mark on the plastic covering. And then the other thing is one of these screws. So it's over on the other side. The head is rounded off slightly. Easily fixed, easily resolved and easily tightened up. Not worth paying more than you need to. And all you're getting extra is a box. So that's the cot made up. Now this particular cot does eventually split down into a bed. What I believe you do is take this bottom section off. Um, as you can see there, it's joined. That lowers every, the head and the foot end, whatever way around it is. That'll lower it down and you take these off, I believe. And then you've got uh, a bed. Um, I'm not sure what age it is. Um, so yeah, that's a cot built. Very good, very impressed. And um, we're gonna crack on with the chair now. And then once we've done that, we'll look to get the, uh, the drawers up and in place. Uh, just one point just to note, please don't pay attention to what level we've put this cot at now um, because it's going to change and I really think you probably should do your own research uh, suitable for what you need uh, for the heights and stuff so we'll be lowering this down eventually so just a, a little note so let's crack on, get the chair built up and get that in place too. So those eagle-eyed viewers will notice the cushions are different. So we've had a bit of a mare uh, since the last clip and uh, same with that, but we'll get onto that after the next build clip uh, regarding the drawers. But so the chair, as you could see in the last clip regarding the building of this, the cushions came rather pink in color. And um, honestly, it, it didn't look the best. So what we decided, um, we spoke to Wayfair where that they were from and they agreed to swap out. So they, they credited fair play to Wayfair because I've never really known a service like this. So we spoke to them on the phone, explained that we thought the colour online looked a lot, uh, very much like cream. So we go, if you watch the last video, um, we had problems with cream again. Um, but yeah, when it come, it was very pink in colour and really didn't go with the room. So what they agreed to do is they sent us a whole brand new chair that was grey. They credited us to allow us to order it. That got delivered next day. And then they arranged for collection of the old chair to go back. So all we needed to do was swap the cushions, put the old cushions back into the box and then uh, DPD came and collected and they took it away. Simple as that. So fair play to Wayfair. And um, it really makes me think this chair's brilliant. So it is very comfy. It's gone together very well. And uh, as you can see, the footrest also rocks. And then the chair, and I've got to be careful not to hit the wall, but um, rocks away. The cushions are very comfy. And um, the only thing I find being a larger sort of gentleman is I struggle to fit very well in the chair but that's not to say uh, it's uncomfortable and that I don't fit because uh, yeah you do go in there but it's just a bit more snug whereas my wife uh, is much more comfortable and uh, it works well quality wise it's up there so as you can see it rocks these are all fastened on with pins um, this is a locking mechanism, so it doesn't rock. And um, yeah, very easy to put together. Just follow the instructions and you won't go far wrong. The only thing I wish, and this really goes to all 
of the rocking chairs that we looked into. They only seem to come in a white frame for some reason and uh, obviously it doesn't overly match but I wouldn't say it looks out of place um, but that would be my only criticism but it is very comfy, very well built and uh, fair play to Wayfair for sorting the situation out and PS they aren't aware of this video so um, yeah I think that's really good. So that's the chair done, now we need to get on to building what you can already see because we're in the future now but we've got the final bits and I'll explain it once we've got it built what happened and what the solution were so let's get building and get this done and uh, show you what the drawers turn out like to match the uh, the cot we have there so let's get going get them built and see what it's like And the drawers are built and the changing topper if you like is on and there we have it so overall the mamas and papa stuff is pretty good the fixings are very good and that's something i found is really good quality nice looking fixings um normally the bane of my life when you're you know fixing things and building things that i always generally change them uh, like the wall fixings it will come with stuff but now pretty good with that um the cot i would say is better quality than the drawer the wood is actually very nice and well put together but there's a few points on the drawers um not major things but they're just very a bit flimsy there um and not not soft clothes which we were aware of now what we're going to do is add some bumper stops on there so that they will actually be soft clothes when uh, when I've fitted them. Another point we've just sort of said, shall we buy some handles to match the, the ones on the wardrobe there, some T-bar ones? So we have actually ordered some now and we'll replace them and then at least they'll be matching and it'll probably be matching them as well. So they're the two little niggles I've got with this, but overall they are pretty nice quality, really nice wood finish and uh, have gone to, together pretty well. Now, the issue we had with this was we bought it from a place called Baby Planet Online, I think they're called. Um, and what happened is the box for the drawers was two parts. So you got box one of two and box two of two. We so happened to get box one of two twice. Um, so we contacted the Baby Planet and again, it's very similar to Wayfair. They arranged collection of the second box and then sent out next day um, the, uh, the box two of two, if you like, uh, which contained the surround for the top and the three drawers. So we had to wait till we had them to finish them, but overall, pretty, pretty impressed, to be honest. I think they look great, suit the room. Can't get over how green the wardrobes look for some reason, but they're definitely a lighter grey. And um, yeah, there we have the chair. So I'm going to leave this video here. Um, hopefully it's been a bit useful for you. Um, people probably in the same situation as us. Uh, this is a new world to us. And uh, I just thought I'd share my thoughts on building them, the the chair, the the cot, and the drawers, and just what we think uh, to them. But overall, very impressed, and probably a nice change is customer service being absolutely brilliant. So we won't grumble there, both from Wayfair and Baby Planet. So yeah, top notch to them. Thank you for watching. Please do make sure you give it a thumbs up, and please make sure you subscribe for more videos to come. 
probably not of this nature, um, but we'll get back in the garden and things like that. So thank you for watching. Please do give it a thumbs up and please make sure you check out Instagram, the underscore DIY underscore journey for more day to day updates as we get things done around the house and uh, move on. So this project is now complete and we'll be moving on to some other projects, probably in the garden initially and get them done. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.